is a promise of justice and a new beginning, a new destiny, a turning point in your life with someone or something that is super grounded and dependable. That is a relationship, a significant relationship in your life that is going to bring you an immense amount of happiness. Again, with a very stable person, the fool, a brand new beginning and a brand new journey in your future. Princess of Cups, Spirit's about to bring you the message of all of this. <sighs> the burden and the struggle is almost over. The four. Hey Pisces, it's Dana. The Gypsy Psychic. How are you? I hope everybody's doing well. Spring is right around the corner and things are looking up all over the place. So uh, I'm feeling extremely positive and energetic about this reading and I can't wait to dive in. I look forward to this every month like you guys do because I'm a Taurus sun, but I'm a Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. So I look forward to this just like you guys do, yeah? I'm Dana. This is the Gypsy Psychic. We are going to throw some general cards for the sign of Pisces. This will be a general reading. If you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, even in the nth degree iota, this reading may resonate with you. This reading, believe it or not, may also resonate with Taurus. Why? Well, because I am, like I said, Taurus Sun, Pisces Moon, Pisces Venus, and Pisces Rising. So, Taurus very well may be able to resonate with this reading. I don't know why. It just works like that with me. If you're Pisces, go back and watch all the Taurus readings and tell me it don't hit home. If this reading resonates with you, the Taurus reading is going to resonate with you and vice versa for Taurus and Pisces. Nevertheless, let's jump into this. Come on in. Pull up a chair. Snuggle up. Get you something to eat. Something to snack on. Something to drink. Something to smoke. Put your earbuds in and let's jump into some serious tarot about Pisces. Pisces or whoever else is watching this, I'm here to tell you the tarot is an intimate divination tool that is meant to communicate from the medium to the recipient. In general tarot card readings, giving a tarot card reading to an auditorium full of people is unnatural for the tarot. If you are wasting your time watching a bazillion different tarot card readers, um, and if you do it just for fun and you're grounded and you've got yourself straight, that's one thing. But if you're searching for wisdom, guidance, understanding, clarification, or information about your situation, general tarot card readings are not going to give it to you. Cut to the chase and get your own cards read. The only way to know your real journey is to have your own cards read, and that's the truth. All right, so let's just display the awesomeness of the tarot and throw down a general reading for the sign of Pisces and possibly Taurus um, for shits and giggles, okay? Just for the fun of it, for shits and giggles, let's see what the overall general theme is going to be, because these cards are based in astrology, right? So the planetary positionings have a lot to do with the overall general message that comes through for a specific zodiac sign, but then you get into Vedic astrology versus Western astrology versus blah, 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 blah right? And are those planetary positionings in Aries really for Pisces, right? Because Vedic is usually one back from who you identify with in the Western, like, like, you know, Pisces. So anywho, nevertheless, let's throw some cards down for Pisces general reading. We'll just see what they have to say. Okay. We'll see what they have to say. All right, you guys, let's do this. It's going to work like it always does. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I will lay out at least 15 cards. I'll talk about them as I clarify them, and I will sew together a story, okay? All right. All right, all right. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, Pisces, guess what? Fixing to go back on the road. I am. I'm fixing to go back on the road. If you're new to the channel, last year I bought a Mercedes Sprinter van and, uh, you know, an older one. There's no way I'm dropping 50 grand on something like that. But anyway, I bought a Mercedes Sprinter van and I redid the inside um, as a portable hotel room, right? And I drove around the country. But check this out, Pisces. 
I bought a horse. I did. I bought a horse. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that horse with me all over the place and ride. Ride all over the country with other horse people, of course, by myself. And I'm going to do that. So this time around in the old Mercedes Sprinter van, um, we are going to have a horse adventure. And um, I'm going to take you guys with me, right? I'm going to take you with me. We're going to have a summertime horse adventure traveling all over the country, meeting with you guys and um, hanging out and shooting the shit. So I digress. Let's get into this reading, okay? Give me a minute. Let me get centered. Let me channel what the messages are and we'll talk all about it, okay? Hold on. Spirit, source, whoa, universal energy. I have the, <laughs> they want to talk Pisces. They want to talk. Spirit, I have the collective of Pisces with me. Of whom in the collective would you like to deliver a message, Spirit? Who needs to hear what it is that needs to be said right now? Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to, ex but to explain them as well. Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards to bring Pisces the information that they need to know and understand about their current situation and circumstances and how to best navigate into the future. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle just a couple more times. I'll cut three times. And, okay, I'll, okay, I heard you. <laughs> I'll cut three times and I'll pull from the top. Spirit, please arrange yourself. All right, right there is where we're going to stop. That is the sweet spot right there. All right, you ready, Pisces? Are we seeing this up here on this camera up here? Yep. All right, let's cut three times and see what we get. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the Empress in reverse. Codependency or some kind of creative block. Could be spiritual growth blockage. Okay? All right. First card out. Queen of Cups in reverse. Uh, emotional insecurity. Um, emotional codependency. To strength, which is talking to us about... Oh, wait. Let me make sure you guys can all see these. Oh, yeah. This fell off earlier. Okay. Okay. All right, well, that's weird for me, but okay. All right, so uh, strength, right? Being strong, needing to be strong. The four of wands in reverse, a transition or a lack of stability and structure. The king of swords in reverse, manipulation, impulsiveness, not being true to yourself, dishonesty, bad decisions. The prince of swords in reverse, mentally restless, scattered thoughts, being crazy in the head. The princess of swords in the upright. So some kind of pulling it together right there to the king of wands. Um, we'll see who this is or what this means for you to the seven of swords in the center of the spread, the seven of swords. You guys, why is it all I don't have a filter on my camera. Maybe it's this light right here. It's making me look awfully damn good. That's for sure. Um, but there's some kind of weird, hmm, maybe I just need to put my glasses on. But anyway, there's like a, a balmy kind of thing going on in the video there. I promise I don't have a filter on. Anyway, seven of swords in the center of the reading. Betrayal, deception, somebody trying to get away with something. Sometimes this is about futility. To the Ten of Swords, an ending, painful ending, crisis. To the Three of Swords, grief and sorrow. The Princess of Cups, can you all see that? You can't, can you? Oh. I like to have my crystals on the table, right? Because, you know, I'm just that kind of girl. But um, they get in my way. All right, so the Princess of Cups. Princess of Cups, messages to 
the moon. The moon talking to us about um, intuition, subconscious mind, possibly something you don't see clearly with the world in reverse that could be a blockage. The eight of wands in reverse could create frustrations and delays or a lack of movement. The four of swords in reverse, a lack of progress or mentally restless, maybe not knowing what direction you're going to go. Um, the devil, an attachment that is a restriction, possibly toxic. The ace of cups in reverse, hurt, feelings, overwhelming emotions. The chariot in reverse, again, some kind of blockage. The, the queen of pentacles, maybe your home, maybe your family, maybe your financial security or your sense of security. To the two of swords in reverse, coming out of the clouds. To the Prince of Wands, some inspired action or some kind of inspired action being taken towards you. The Six of Swords in reverse, lots of water under the bridge, stuck and can't move on. The Four of Cups contemplating the, a decision with judgment, right? The Princess of Wands, enthusiasm, excitement. The Ace of Wands in reverse, no bueno. Three of Pentacles in reverse, more no bueno. Hermit in reverse, withdraw your energy. The Ten of Wands to be able to drop a struggle to the Four of Pentacles to maintain some kind of stability. Five of Swords in reverse, to the Hierophant in reverse, to Justice in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune. Freaking beautiful. All right, you guys. Now, I know some of y'all who are, who are out there who aren't used to me, um, there's reversals. There's a lot of reversals in this reading. Um, if you don't read reversals in a tarot card reading, um, number one, you are limiting the, um, the descriptive ability of the tarot. Okay. Um, reading just the uprights is only 50% of the story. Reading the reversals fills in the reality of the situation. See, in the upright, most of the cards, for the most part, have a positive con con connotation, right? And a lot of people don't want to see the negative cards because they think the negative cards mean negativity, and that's not true. It's just an alternating perspective of the root definition of the card in the upright, for the most part, okay? So don't freak out that there's a bunch of... Um, that there's a bunch of uh, reversals because number one, we haven't clarified yet. And number two, it's important to know the negative aspects of the situation as well as it is to know the positive aspects, okay? Because yeah, you can't live in la-la land, okay? All right, you guys. So for those of you that are new to the channel and are not familiar with me, chances are I am going to swear. So if that, if I haven't sworn already, so if that offends you or if you're a super sensitive person because I'm a real direct person, right? And my front man is Taurus, right? I'm going to say it like it is. I'm going to throw it down like I see it, okay? So if you're a sensitive person, both of those issues, you probably want to go home right now. Um, I smoke my vape. I may or may or may not smoke it on camera. I get really deep and I channel really hard. And sometimes I do things that I don't realize I'm doing on camera, like, you know, straightening my bra strap or swearing. So anywho, if y'all can handle that, buckle up because we're going to dive into this. Um, I'm going to fast forward the clarification process and pick it up right here where we leave off. Hold on. All right, Pisces, this is what's going on, okay? All right, everybody snuggled in, ready? Let's let's do this. All right, what's happening here? Well, your first card out is the Queen of Cups in reverse. This is, can y'all see this? Yeah, this is um, emotional codependency, okay? So there is something about to take place that you are emotionally attached to, okay? Something about to take place that you are emotionally attached to. The hanged man in reverse. This talks about resistance, delays, stalling. But in this case, it's resistance. Why? To the seven of swords. Because there is some kind of betrayal or deception that is about to be perpetrated against you. Okay, this is like a warning kind of reading. Um, if this has already happened for you, 
too little too late sorry about that but for those of you who this hasn't happened and therefore you may not even resonate but this is like what's coming towards you and this is a warning going on here about how to maneuver this situation for your best and highest good okay so the seven of swords spirit what is this deception what is this deception right here what is the root of the deception is it pisces deceiving themselves is it what, what, what is the seven of swords about spirit what is the seven of swords what is the seven of swords in the center of the reading and the the beginning of the reading as well spirit what is this betrayal this deception somebody trying to get away with something somebody trying to steal from pisces or pisces trying to steal from someone else let's see the ace of wands okay this card is called passion ignited in this deck and um so the ace of wands all right so that explains everything so there's a situation that you are emotionally attached to, okay? Major Arcana being the major mysteries of life, which is spirit for me as a reader, giving advice to you. But this is a general reading, okay? So I'm going to read it in a different kind of way because there's no way that I can assign what your messages are um, over a YouTube video. Okay. Like I said earlier, the only way to know your story is to have your own cards read. So y'all take this with a grain of salt and don't be stupid about it. All right. Do not ever make life decisions off of anyone's general tarot card reading. Okay. All right. So you're emotionally attached. Major Arcana, the hanged man in reverse says resist. Okay, so a situation's coming, you're emotionally attached, spirit says resist. Why? Well, because there is betrayal and deception. Somebody's trying to get away with something in this particular situation. What are they trying to get away with? Well, the Ace of Wands talks about passion ignited. It's about inspiration, passionate, inspired, motivated new beginnings. Okay, this could be work. This could be a relationship of some sort. Okay. Now, to strength. Strength is about, in this particular situation, it's about persuasion. Somebody is going to try to persuade you, and you need to be strong in your identification and understanding that somebody is persuading you, okay? To the seven of pentacles. Seven is about reflection and assessment of motivations. It's about discovering. It's about looking. I mean, look at the dude in the card, right? I mean, he's a, he's growing anything. And if y'all have ever grown anything, and a lot of people haven't, but if you've ever grown anything, when you don't harvest what you thought you were going to harvest, I don't care if it's a tomato plant on your balcony or a crop, right? If you don't harvest what you thought you were going to harvest, what you do is you take a step back and you reassess the situation. And you look at... Um, motivations and discoveries right what can i do differently to get differently next time and what happened that it didn't work the first time so what this card is saying it's talking about investigating somebody's motivations what are the motivations about well it's about the hair fit. it's about some kind of either commitment or contract. And like I said, this could be relationship or this could be work related, but it's about some kind of commitment, work contract. Sometimes it's about school. Okay. But it's some kind of commitment that is being offered to you. Could be with the Taurus, seeing how this is the Hierophant. That's the card of Taurus. So I asked, why is the, who is the Taurus? What is the Taurus about? They came in and said balance with 11. This is Trump number 11. This is, this is Trump number 11. This is justice, okay? So what is the commitment about justice? Two, three major arcanas in a row here explaining what this commitment is. So balance, why? Ten of the Ten of Trump. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is called Destiny. Because your destiny is, your destiny hinges on this situation and this commitment or contract or offer of some sort. Okay? So, justice, turning point, and look at that, disruption. 
with 16. This is the tower. I mean, this is the tower, right? Disruption. What are these cards saying? This is saying somebody's going to try to persuade you about something. Um, and you're going to need to be strong about it. Investigate the motivations and investigate the motivations. Why? Because it's a commitment that you're going to enter into. That's what they're wanting you to enter into. That's why there's an inspired, passionate new beginning. But there's betrayal and deception and spirit says resist. Okay? But you're emotionally attached with the Queen of Cups in reverse. What's going on here? Well, justice in your life. Okay? Your life is about to turn for the better with the Wheel of Fortune. Your life is, I mean, it's like right there. It's about to turn for the better, okay? But this whole situation that's popping up here, career or relationship, is a tower moment. It's a disruption in your destiny. And the way that you handle this situation is going to balance out what path it is your life goes. I mean, this is like really big. It's it's really big. It's really big. Spirit, well, tell me about this tower. Tell me about this tower, please. Tell me about tell me about this tower, please. Ooh, the King of Pentacles. Very interesting. Very interesting. So the King of Pentacles is down here. And down here explains up here. So I'm going to leave you all hanging on this King of Pentacles. And we're going to come back and address that as we get down to the bottom of this reading. Because this makes total sense to me. And it will to you in a minute. Okay? Okay. All right. The Four of Wands in Reverse. This talks about a lack of structure and a lack of stability. In this offer, in this opportunity, there is a lack of structure and a lack of stability. The King of Swords in reverse. This is dishonesty and manipulation. Hence the Seven of Swords first card out and the Seven of Swords in the center of your reading. Okay, Somebody is trying to manipulate you and it's going to threaten your stability in life as you know it right now. Prince of Swords in reverse talks about being impulsive. It's maybe even like a rush. Maybe somebody's pushing you or rushing you. When are you going to sign that? When are you going to sign that? When are you going to sign that? Or somebody's texting you. What do you what, what, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What are your thoughts? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? And you're like, oh my God, leave me alone. I just need to chill for a second and digest some of this. Prince of Swords in reverse also indicates dishonesty or truth not being spoken. It's also, it's a variety of different things, but it's a confusion, I guess, is the number one um, thing that I'm feeling here. Confusion, okay? So manipulation threatens your stability. This whole thing threatens your stability, right? Because remember, your destiny is hanging in the balance here. Hanging in the balance, okay? What is this about? What's the King of Swords about? Well, the King of Swords is about the Seven of Cups in reverse, fantasy and illusion. The way that this person or situation is going to try to deceive you is to feed on your emotions, okay? And they're going to try to manipulate you with ideas that are fantasy and illusion, okay? The Hermit in reverse Major Arcana, Spirit speaking to you. I mean, there's so many Major Arcanas in this reading. It's like insane, insane, okay? So the Hermit in reverse, withdraw and disconnect. That's what it's about. Major Arcana speaking to you, withdraw and disconnect to the Empress because you got it going on. And if you don't have it going on right now, you are about to have it going on. The Empress is is saying is spirit saying remember who you are. The Empress is about spiritual growth as well too, right? Spiritual growth. Remember who you are. You're on your way. You are building. You are growing. Um, you are you are developing. Okay. Spirit says withdraw, disconnect, 
you are well on your way. This line of bullshit that this person is feeding you um, is fantasy and illusion, and it's going to disrupt your stability. See, the four of wands in the upright is all about harmony and structure and foundation and long-term solid kind of things, right? Fire energy, so it's inspirational, right? It's something that's going to last a good long time and make you happy. In the reverse, it's either a transition out of that or it's just straight up a lack of harmony and a lack of stability. And that's what's being threatened right here. Remember, your destiny is on the line. Okay, what's this about? Well, the Ten of Wands in reverse. This is an overwhelming burden. It's going to create an overwhelming burden for you. To the Seven of, of Wands in reverse. This is feeling totally and completely overwhelmed. Why? Two of Cups, about some kind of unified partnership, whether it be love or career, you are emotionally invested in whatever this is, relationship or career, you're emotionally invested, okay? And therein lies the whole warning because spirit knows what's going to come towards you and they know that you're emotionally invested. And if you don't see what's happening with the betrayal and the deception, you're prone to go towards this because you're emotionally invested. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Drop down. Period. Drop down. New paragraph. Okay, so the Princess of Swords. This is communication that's coming into you. It's um, probably written communication, but it's communication nevertheless that's coming into you. Two of Wands in reverse. This is not taking something into the future. It's a disruption in the future. The Two of Wands in the upright is about planning and looking out over the landscape at the globe in his hand. And he's like, what am I going to do with myself? Where's my life going? Where do I want to be? In the reverse, it's no, it's, it's no, it's no into the future. It's also about um, being, having fear of the future as well to the eight of cups in reverse. Eight of cups in reverse is about hopelessness and walking away. Okay. Hopelessness and walking away. That's what Spirit says. This communication with the Page of Swords right here. Um, that's the re that is the end game of this communication. What's the end game? Don't take it into your future. And the Eight of Cups in reverse. Walk away. What's this about? Well, it's about the King of Wands. Now, whether this is a person being the King of Wands, the King of Wands as a person is an unsettled kind of guy. He's a conqueror. I mean, look at him. Look at him. He's planning his next conquest right there. You see him? He's like, mm -hmm, what am I going to go get now? Got that. Got that. Got that. What is next on the list, right? That's why fire energy is Aries, right? Because Aries is like, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, right? Sag and Leo too. Leo's the same way. Get it, get it, get it. Sag is, in my opinion, just as a person and the Sages that I know, they're a little bit more playful about it. They're still about getting it, but they kind of enjoy the journey a little bit more than the other two, I think. Okay. So if this is a person... This person is a restless person, right? Fire doesn't stay around very, very, very well. It smolders out and turns into ashes, right? So this is an unsettled person. If this is about career for you, this is about your success, okay? Your success, the achievement of success. The nine of swords in reverse, a painful lesson. To the two of pentacles in reverse, financial disarray, disorganization the page of cups messages coming into you messages coming in it's the same message as the princess of swords right it might start with the princess of swords hey how you doing and then it turns into the page of cups well hey let's meet up right or hey i'm sorry about what went down between us or hey i'm sorry i screwed you over on the last contract let's try again i'll do better this time right so there's a message coming into you Judgment in reverse. The literal definition of this card is ignore the call. It's deciding to not decide, a bad decision, and ignoring the call. Okay? Now, ignoring the call in a different 
aspect could be about ignoring a calling that you have. Like maybe you have a calling to, I don't know, be an artist and you get a job to be a cashier, right? And, and you're like, God, I really don't want to do this. I really want to be an artist. Ignoring the call is not a good decision. Ignoring the call in this situation is literally saying this message that's coming in, ignore the call. Don't even answer it. Just leave it. Just ignore the call. Don't engage. Cease and desist because it's full of deception. Seven of Swords in the center of your reading. Betrayal, deception, trying to get away with something. Let me move these. Neighbors. Um, Seven of Swords, betrayal, deception, um, trying to get away with something, maybe trying to steal something, maybe being dishonest, maybe not having a job of their own. Um, maybe it's, it's saying that it's just futile. This whole situation is just futile for you. The Ten of Swords, it's dead, let it stay dead or put it to death because it's filled with betrayal and deception. To the Three of Swords, it's filled with grief and sorrow and heartbreak. Ten of Cups in reverse, broken home, broken family, broken feelings, empty feelings, loss in the sense of emotional accomplishment. To the Ace of Wands in reverse, frustrations and delays, to the chariot in reverse, a blockage. The chariot in the upright is about moving forward, right? In the reverse, it's like er, not, not going anywhere. It's a, it's a blockage. It's the same blockage that was up here, okay? Okay, so center of your reading, betrayal and deception, the ten of swords, crisis, betrayal, deception. End it. Put it to death. Let it die. Let it stay dead, right? It has nothing to offer you. It didn't before. It won't now. And if this is something new, it won't in the future. Ace of Wands in reverse. Um, frustrations, delays to what? Well, the chariot being in the upright. You moving forward. That's why there's a blockage. That's why your destiny is on the line. That's why this whole thing is a disruption, a tower in your life. Because justice and balance needs to happen. You are about to have justice and balance in your life. Things are about to go in your favor and your destiny is about to move forward into a brand new change and cycle in your life. But this tower moment shows up and that's your blockage. That's why spirit says resist this. Don't engage in this. This is a blockage. Oops. That's only going to bring grief and sorrow. Queen of Cups in reverse, but you're emotionally co uh, codependent on it. Emotionally or, or hurt feelings from, from maybe before. Or maybe hurt feelings in the future, but hurt feelings. All talk, no action, undelivered promises of the Page of Swords in reverse. To the King of Cups in reverse, emotional volatility. This is two very connected soul people right here. Um, not in touch with each other anymore, whether it's spiritually in touch, energetically in touch, literally in touch. They're not in touch with each other anymore because shit went south and things went bad. Five of cups in reverse. You've moved on from this. Okay. Moving on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. Spirit says, move on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment in this situation. To the Nine of Wands in reverse. Hesitant, defensive, paranoid, worn out. To the Ten of Swords three times. We've had the Ten of Swords three times. Wow. To the Ten of Swords. I think it's three. It might have been twice. thought it was three, though. Yep, there. Nope, that's the Nine of Swords. Anyway, the Ten of Swords, right? Betrayal, deception, painful endings, um, crisis to strength. You're going to have to be strong to fight against this. To the wheel of fortune in reverse. It is a blockage in your life. It's a blockage to your destiny right here at the top. Now I ask, what is this about? What is the blockage? What is this whole, what is the whole thing here? 
sacrifice with the hangman. Pausing, surrendering, and gaining a new perspective. It's about your personal will being broken. To the eight of swords. All up in your mind. Why are you up in your mind? Well, you're emotionally codependent on this situation somehow, some way. Three of Pentacles, recognition and reward. Teamwork, collaboration. Teamwork and collaboration. Recognition, reward, 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 Pisces. Yeah, that's what this turning point is right here. That's the justice that's coming into your life. A reward. Spirit is saying that there is a reward coming your way because of your spiritual sacrifice. Because you have gained a new perspective, perhaps about your spiritual growth, your spiritual journey, your path, your calling. <laughs> Poppy, you're calling. Um, perhaps this sacrifice, this personal will being broken, perhaps you want something really, really bad. And maybe it's coming back around one more time to kind of be a stumbling block and, and, and stumble you up on your way to greatness, on your way to the reward that spirit is going to bless your life with. Because you have put in the work that needs to be put in. Whatever that is for you in any way whatsoever, small or huge, Spirit is about to bless you with something truly amazing. And now this situation is surfacing. And there is... You're at a crossroads in, 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 in your life. And the path that you take is either going to open up your life to receive this blessing from spirit, or it's going to put you in a different direction. And spirit's like, oh, well, man, we had everything all coordinated. And if she or he or if Pisces would have went in, it would have went to the right. Everything would have fell into place because it was all set up like dominoes. But Pisces went to the left. And now Pisces... Pisces does their own free will. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What is this all about? Choose wisely. Spirit says choose wisely in this situation. Why? Because your freaking destiny depends on it. To truth, which is the judgment card. This is a rebirth. It's a, it's a life-changing decision. Choose wisely because this is a life-changing decision. Truth. Because we're telling you the truth. Please see the truth of this situation. Please see the truth of this situation. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I'll tell you what those three cards were right there. Hold on. Hold on. So, and I put it back in the deck because it just, I already, I already know this. But, um, so, judgment, rebirth, right? Eight of Swords in Reverse talks about getting a new perspective. The Three of Cups about reuniting or celebrating with someone. Queen of Swords in Reverse. It's, the, the, number one, this person or this situation is emotionally unavailable. Um, if it's work or a relationship, their emotion, the whole thing is emotionally unavailable. Queen of Swords in Reverse talks about you possibly guarding yourself and being emotionally unavailable. But when I first saw this card, first thing that jumped out was dishonesty, right? Because the Queen of Swords in the upright, she speaks truth and she speaks her mind. In the reverse, it's somebody, I think, being shady or maybe hiding behind a mask. Okay. Three of Swords, right? Grief, sorrow. It's in the mental, but grief and sorrow. Queen of Cups in reverse. All kinds of hurt feelings. Okay, so this is what happened in the past here. So, grief and sorrow. 
or it could be what's about to happen in the future, okay? Grief and sorrow, queen of cups in reverse, hurt feelings. Why? Because of undelivered promises. Here's the other half of this to the king of cups. This is emotional volatility. It's, it's two very important people, important to each other, maybe even some kind of soul contract, um, and um, they haven't been in touch in a while. To the five of cups in reverse, loss, regret, despair, and disappointment, overwhelmed endings. Be strong, be strong, be strong, because this is a blockage in your life. Princess of Cups, there's a message coming into you about creating to the fool. Spirit says, leave it. Spirit says, leave, leave it. Notice how he's going away from this whole reading, right? Away from it. Spirit says, um, take off on your own. Don't go, go create on your own with the princess of cups. Yeah. Look the, the lovers, right? Choices, your choices in this situation are either going to bring harmony or imbalance into your life. Tell me more about this spirit. Tell me more about this fool. Brand new beginning, brand new journey. Um, lovers, right? So very important choices to the sun, right? Happiness, success, and vitality. Equals out to be a 10, by the way, which is completion. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, so Princess of Cups. A message, the fool. Okay, so if we want to take this, because I know y'all are sitting there saying, but that sounds like take it, take it, take it. Well, remember all the warnings up here, right? So the Princess of Cups, let's read it a couple different ways. Princess of Cups, a message of creation, okay? The fool of a new beginning and a new journey. Harmony, happiness, success, and vitality. And um, lovers, sorry. Um, lovers, um, the sun is harmony. And I'm sorry, the sun is happiness, success, and vitality. And the harmony is your choices and lovers, okay? So what this is saying to me, what this is saying to me is that there is something else coming towards you that is going to set you on a new beginning and a new journey. It's going to bring happiness into your life and it's going to create a, a harmonious, beautiful relationship in your life, whether it's work or um, love. Okay. But look at these three cards right here. Wow. I mean, this is like insane, right? It's just beautiful. And that's what this is saying. This up here is a blockage. Whatever is trying to manifest in your life or is going to try to manifest in your life in the near future is a blockage. Spirit says there's something amazing coming for you. Hence the justice and the blessings that, that, that this whole reading is about. A turning point in your destiny. The moon. But there's something that you don't see. What don't you see? The three of pentacles in reverse, that this is not going to work out. It's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. It's just not. To the two of swords, what you don't see clearly is that you are at a crossroads here. What is hanging in the balance? Well, what's hanging in the balance is the justice that spirit wants to bring to your life for your growth destiny, a turning point in everything that's going to point you in the direction of your best and highest good to disruption. This is tower. This is upheaval and chaos. That's what this offer of commitment or contract is going to bring into your life. Choose very wisely. Make a good, solid decision because you're 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 go, you're about to be blessed and now this stumbling block is coming in your path spirit says ignore the call spirit says disorganize disorganization or financial loss right hopelessness or a painful lesson about to happen to you okay possibly a painful lesson from the past Spirit says this is all a blockage. This is all a blockage. What's waiting for you, what's coming towards you, is the ultimate in happiness. The sun, the lovers, the fool. 
the sun, the lovers, the fool. That's what's coming towards you. That's what's trying to make its way towards you. Oops, that goes up there. But what you don't see clearly is that is that this whole thing puts you at a crossroads, a very serious crossroads, okay? The world in reverse. It's a blockage. You cannot close out your past cycles and move into a turning point in your destiny in your new cycles if you continue to participate in whatever this is that's happening. What is it blocking? What is the blockage? The King of Pentacles. That's who is trying to come in. The King of Pentacles. Spirit is telling you right now that there is a very real love situation fixing to take root in your life. Spirit is telling you that there is a very real career situation about to take root in your life. Okay? Because this King of Pentacles, if we're talking about career, this is Pisces being successful. This is Pisces sitting in the throne of power of materialistic satisfaction and control over their life. If we're talking about love, this is who's coming in for you, male or female. This is who's coming in for you. Somebody that believes in the institution of love, family, and marriage, security, somebody who has their shit together, somebody that is fully intent and built to be a domestic partner. That's who's coming in. But all of this is a blockage. Back to the King of Pentacles up here. Remember I said, hold on, we'll come back to that. Okay. Okay. All right. That doesn't matter. So what, what's going on here? Well, justice, right? Balancing out of your whole everything. Why? Well, the hangman down here to the three of pentacles says, because you're due some reward and some recognition for the, the, the new perspective is in the spiritual growth that you have gone through, right? Justice is about to be brought into your life. Destiny, a turning point in your world, a turning point in your life. To disruption. What's the disruption? Well, the disruption is, is that there's some kind of betrayal and deception being offered to you. But you don't see it clearly because you're emotionally codependent. You're emotionally invested in whatever it is that comes through to you, right? What is it disrupting? What's the turning point in your destiny? Well, it's the king of pentacles. It's either your absolute, utter, awesome success, or it is a domestic partnership that is headed your way that is being blocked by the fuckery that you might be thinking about entertaining. This is coming towards you, whether it's a human being or whether it is your financial success. It's coming towards you. Nice, 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 nice. Remember I told you that would make sense. That's why spirit says to choose wisely, okay? Choose wisely, rebirth, the world in reverse, blockage, blockage, prince of princess of cups, right? What's coming into you? Well, a message to the fool, new beginning, new journey, and the king of pentacles, right? The king of pentacles. You're at a crossroads, though. You're at a crossroads. Harmony, sun, okay. Eight of wands in reverse. This is a lack of communication. It's a lack of inspiration. It is frustrations, delays, frustrations and delays in what? In this turning point in your destiny, right? This situation is going to delay the other situation, okay? Could be years, right? Depending upon how long you stay in this situation. Sometimes people stay in bad situations for 20, 30, 50 years, and then it's too late, right? You're dead. Frustrations, delays. Four of Swords in reverse, a lack of progress in, in what? In your life. Spirit, Major Arcana, the Tower, says avert disaster. Why? King of Wands in reverse. 
egocentric, self-centered, lack of success, insecure. Avert disaster because who you're dealing with is egocentric, self-centered, or you're, you're not going to have success at all with the King of Wands in reverse. It's just, it's, it's just not successful. Avert disaster, don't engage, it's not successful. All right. The devil, look at that. Because it's toxic. There's, this is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. What's your growth? Turning point in your destiny with this, okay? It's a restriction to your personal growth. Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, Ace of Cups in Reverse is about emotional dissatisfaction, being emotionally overwhelmed, hurt feelings to the chariot in reverse. This is a blockage, a blockage to what? Queen of Pentacles, your life, the security and the foundation that you feel in your life is at stake here. What else is at stake? Well, it's a blockage to you being the Queen of Pentacles to guess who? The King of Pentacles. Okay? It's a blockage to a firm, solid domestic partnership. Two of swords in reverse. Um, coming out of a crossroads to the Prince of Wands. Inspired action. Inspired action. Six of swords in reverse. Do I stay stuck in the past? Do I not stay stuck in the past? Do I not stay stuck in this situation? Do I stay stuck in this situation? Four of Cups. Contemplate very, very carefully. Because look at this card right here, okay? See, this dude is so busy focusing on something that... He's so busy focusing on something else in his emotions that he's neglecting to see the hand of God offering him a fourth cup. See, the four is about structure and foundation and stability. This fourth cup brings stability to the emotional process of reflecting and assessing. He's missing this fourth cup right here because he's so concerned about whatever it is that he's thinking about that he's not seeing the forest through the trees, right? That's what spirit's trying to do right here. This whole reading is Pisces as the guy, and this reading is spirit with the cup right? Saying we're trying so hard to bless you. We're trying so hard to give you something. We, we, we want you to get acknowledgement and reward for whatever your story is, right? But you're not seeing it. You're not taking it. Spirit saying, take this advice. Please understand. Don't stay stuck in the past. Take inspired action to move through this situation and keep going forward. Stay in the Empress energy. Judgment. Decision. Decision. Rebirth. Resurrecting the dead from the grave. Massive, life-changing decision with judgment. To the Princess of Wands. This decision is going to create excitement and enthusiasm in your future. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Frustrations, delays, three of pentacles in reverse, a lack of teamwork and collaboration, the hermit in reverse. Just detach from this situation. Just detach from it, ten of wands, because the burden and the struggle that you carry is almost over. There is a promise of justice and a new beginning, a new destiny, a turning point in your life with someone or something that is super grounded and dependable that is a relationship a significant relationship in your life that is going to bring you an immense amount of happiness again with a very stable person the fool a brand new beginning in a brand new journey in your future princess of cups spirits about to bring you the message of all of this <sighs> the burden and the struggle is almost over the four of pentacles this is a card to me about doing what's best for you. This card is about structure. It's about control. It's about um, having enough, feeling okay. Sometimes it's about stagnation and not wanting to get enough. And maybe this is about stagnation. Maybe it's about you have maybe have wanted this for so long that, that I, 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 I don't know. 
I don't know. But this is how it talks to me about having control, getting control of yourself and keeping control of yourself to the five of swords in reverse. To be open to change in the situation, open to change in your life. The Hierophant in reverse. Number one, don't engage in this situation. Why? Because it would be an injustice, okay? Don't commit to this. It would be an injustice. But the Hierophant in reverse talks about reevaluating your belief system. And that's kind of what needs to go on here. You need to reevaluate where your future is going, what you want from your life, and look very carefully about the betrayal and the deception that's happening behind the scenes that apparently you don't see. So be very careful about entering into any of this and reevaluate the way that you truly believe about yourself and about this situation. Injustice, because there is dishonesty, unfairness, and a lack of accountability associated with this situation. And it is an injustice to your life. Why? Wheel of Fortune. Last card in this spread. Wheel of Fortune. Because there is a turning point in your life that is about to happen. And if you fall into this trap, you will miss it. And it will take you years to get back to it turning point in your life, a turning point in your destiny. Spirit wants to bless you. Don't let this stumbling block stop you from that blessing because this is amazing. Amazing. And this whole reading could be career or love. Very, it's awesome. You know what? I'm going to do an extended reading to this. Um, there will be a link in the box below and I'm going to dive in and I want to see I want to see about this King of Pentacles here. I want to see what all this is about in this destiny and, and justice and judgment and the fool and the empress. I want to see what all of this good, beautiful stuff for the future is, okay? All right, y'all. Namaste.